Hello again. Well, I know what you're thinking. Well, this old guy went for seven or eight years without making a video, just watching YouTube, but uh, now that he started, he's not going to quit. But uh, I was just out here at camp today, and I was getting ready to leave, and I thought I'd fix some lunch before I went home, and uh, I thought, well, what better time than to try out this canteen cup thing that everybody's been talking about and trying, and I've always loved split pea soup. Uh, problem with it is I know that it has to cook for a long time usually so I don't know if it'll work for a uh, canteen cup but uh, I'm gonna try and give it a little shot here and uh, just see exactly if it is possible. So what I did was I made up these little packets at home with just some uh, some split peas and a couple spoons full of this spring, spring vegetable mix to add a little color and flavor maybe to it. Just add some carrots and stuff and a little bit of dehydrated onion. And I'm just going to put it on the stove here and see if I can't cook it up and see how long it'll take. Uh, like I say, it may it may not work, but how do we know if we don't try? So I'll set it up here and I'll give it a little try. That is, if I can find my stove. I also have a little can of uh, smoked ham here. I'm going to add to it. And see if uh, see if that'll maybe give it a little flavor once we get her going here.
I was like, damn. I'll bring you back when we get her boiling and start adding the stuff into it. Okay, it's been uh, at a boil now for about 15 minutes. I uh, spared you the putting into the peas and stuff, but uh, it has been boiling for about 15 minutes. Seems to be softening up fairly well. Like I say, I'm just a little concerned about the, uh, the cook time, be it like beans or uh, peas and stuff. Usually I cook them for a long time, so I don't know with a small, small quantity like this, I don't know exactly how long I'll have to cook these, but it may not be feasible for a uh, small lunch meal if you have to cook them for 45 minutes or an hour, especially with a, with a stove like this. I do most of my uh, outdoor cooking over fires. And it's a, really, I don't use this little stove very much, so although it is a bit hotter, it bring comes to a boil real quick. I don't know how long these canisters last so it's just a test for me but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the ham and uh, we'll let it cook for another 15 minutes or so and and see what she turns out like Thank you, Brenda. Won these in a contest from AOK Foraging and Adventure. Brenda makes some really nice carvings of spoons and, and such. The ham looks fairly good, and the peas are starting to soften up a good bit, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be edible. Give it 15 more minutes or so and see how she comes out. I'll bring you back when that happens. Okay, it's probably been probably about uh, 25 minutes since I first put the peas in the boil, on the boil, and they, they look like they're done pretty well. Uh, 
looks can be deceiving. But looks pretty good. Let me see if I can get you a look at that. So here's the test. We'll go to AOK -okay Foraging's smaller spoon because I'm a dainty eater. Yeah, pretty hard. I'd almost say it's a fail. It's edible, but the peas are still pretty hard. And I don't know how much time, cook time you'd want to allow for a quick afternoon lunch or meal. Uh, probably talk another 15, 20 minutes probably to get them good and tender. It's edible but the peas are still a little bit hardened. That won't stop me from eating it though. So just a quick quick meal here, try to just to test the theory. Like I say, I don't know if you were, I think when doing like beans, dried beans and dried peas and such, I don't know if the cooking time would offset the, uh, the meal itself, you know, wasting the gas and stuff to cook it. Uh, maybe in a larger portion where we could just put it on a, a fire and cook longer. It's very tasty. I, I like the idea of the spring vegetables in it. I'm not positive I could be making a mistake here but uh, I think it was uh, scout for life gave me the idea of putting a spring vegetable soup in there to add a little flavoring and stuff but uh, I'll have to double check on that I'm not sure but I I really like his videos because he he makes some off-the-cuff stuff sometimes <coughs> but uh, it's pretty good the, uh, and I think with longer cooking time it would be really good. I'm just not certain that the uh, time and the gas offset cooking this stuff for maybe an hour before you get the peas tender would be uh, advantageous. But there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and eat and uh, we'll catch you later.